Hi everyone, I'm Bob Grip. Welcome to the final of the 2017 High Q season in Mobile County, sponsored by New Horizons Credit Union. Tonight's match features students from Bryant, Mary G. Montgomery, and the top scoring team this year, Davidson. The questions you're going to hear tonight are prepared in 16 categories by educators throughout the country who are all experts in their fields. They try to make the questions equally challenging. Here's how a point, the points are awarded. In a regular category, each team will receive its own question in that area. The teams will then have 15 seconds and four opportunities to answer. A correct answer on the first try is worth four points. Each time an incorrect answer is given, it's worth one less point. And if a team misses it entirely, either of the other two teams can gain one point with a correct answer, and I'll explain some of the other scoring as we go on. We'll start with current events. Good luck, everybody. Davidson, here's your question. A commercial airline was flown around the world by an all-female crew. The entire crew, including pilots and cabin crew, flew the Boeing 70, 777 over the Pacific Ocean from New Delhi to San Francisco, then back across the Atlantic. Name the airline which accomplished this feat. Air India. Correct. Four points. <laughs> Barry Montgomery, your question. 25 years ago, 12 countries signed a treaty creating a political and economic community with open borders and a single currency. On this spot, the modern European Union, or EU, was born. Give the name of this treaty, which is named for the city in which it was signed. The Treaty of Rome. Try again. Treaty of Paris. Try again. Bryant. Maastricht Treaty. That's treaty? right. That's right. Maastricht. One point. Bryant, here's your question. The jade mines in this country have yielded great wealth, but have also left a trail of death. Give me the name of this country. Myanmar. Right. Four points. <laughs> Topic is American history. Back to Davidson. Beginning in 1903, Congress passed legislation to reform the corrupt railroad industry. The first such act made it illegal for railroads to give rebates to shippers for using certain railroads. Heavy fines could also be imposed on shippers who accepted these rebates. Give me the name of this act. The Elkins Act? That's right, four points. <laughs> Mary Montgomery. On October 29, 1929, the bottom fell out of the stock market as worried investors frantically sold off their shares before stock prices fell even lower. Give the phrase by which this date is known. Black Tuesday. That's right, four points. <laughs> Bryant. In 1945, the American Navy suffered severe damage when it invaded Okinawa, a well-defended Japanese island. Japan's defense included using suicide bombers who crashed their planes into American ships. Give the term for these suicide pilots. Kamikaze. That's right, four points. <laughs> Our topic is biology now. Back to Davidson. Identify the classification of prokaryotic cells that have an outer membrane made of large chains of sugar with attached lipids called lipopolysaccharides over a layer of peptoglycan. Archaebacteria? Try again. Eubacteria? Try again. Bryant? Bacteria? No. Mary Montgomery? Any answer? No answer. No. Gram-negative bacteria. Mary Montgomery, identify the group of protists that dinoflagellates, diatoms, and algae belong to. Five seconds.
Bryant. Nidera. Sorry, Davidson. RK bacteria. Photosynthetic. Bryant, identify the group of protists that possess rigid shells and move by cytoplasmic streaming. Diatoms. Try again. Diapoles. Try again. <laughs> Davidson. Amoebic. No. Mary Montgomery. Ciliates. No. Forams is what we needed. No points. All right, we're going to leave that behind and change topic. We're going to ask a question in sports. It's the first of two toss up questions. So, teams, hand on to your buzzers. First team to push its buzzer answers first. Four points for a correct answer, and you can buzz in at any time when you think you know enough. You've heard enough of the question. Here's the question. Winning women's professional golf championships spanning 1937 to 1958, she was a founding member and then leading player on the LPGA Tour during the 1940s, 50s, and 60s. Her 15 major title wins remain the all-time record for most wins by a female golfer. Give me the last name of this golfer. Mary Montgomery. Johnson. Sorry. Bryant. Simpson. No. Davidson. Smith. No. <laughs> We'd have gotten there eventually, but it was Patty Berg. Oh. Patty Berg was what we needed. <laughs> Literature's our topic. Back to Davidson. In Ernest Hemingway's short story titled The Doctor and the Doctor's Wife, give the total number of large, large beach logs that had washed ashore on the doctor's property. Three. Try again. Four. Yes, three points. Four. <laughs> Mary Montgomery, in Jack London's short story titled Love of Life, Give the first name of the heartless man who left his hiking partner alone on the trail even though he had slipped and twisted his ankle. Bill. That's right, four points. <laughs> Bryant. In Kate Chopin's short story titled Elizabeth Stock's One Story, give the name of the disease from which Elizabeth Stock died. Tuberculosis. Try again. Consumption. Yes, I need the consumption. Three points. All right, we're going to change the rules up again and ask some questions in math. Now, in math, the teams get 60 seconds to answer their questions. You'll find out why in a second. And they get a copy of every question for possible bonus points. So first question is exclusively for Davidson, but everyone open your yellow math envelopes, please. Amy's homeroom was comprised of 25 honor students. All of the students in this group are taking at least one math class and one English class. Amy found out that 13 of her group were taking both math and English, and eight of the math students were not taking English. How many students were taking English but not math? Four. That's correct. You only needed 10 seconds out of a 60 second question. That's great. Mary Montgomery, this is your question. Everyone open your red math envelopes. A fuel tank for a lawnmower is one third full. Rick added three gallons to the tank and found the tank to be two thirds full. What is the capacity in gallons of the fuel tank of Rick's mower? Nine gallons? That's right. Four points. Okay, next question goes to Bryant. Everyone open your blue math envelopes, please. Julie's stock portfolio increased by 12% the first year and decreased by 10% over the second year. If she began this two-year period with P dollars and did not change the account over the two years, the amount her holding was worth at the end was KP for some real number K. What is the value of K in decimal form? One. 
1.02. Try again. Seconds. One point two. Try again. <laughs> Davidson. Point oh four. Sorry. Mary Montgomery. One point twenty two. No, one point zero zero eight. All right, we're gonna leave math behind now. At least until the end of the contest. Now we're gonna ask some questions in Shakespeare. Davidson? From the opening act and scene of Much Ado About Nothing, give the name of the country where the action takes place. Aragon. Try again. Country. Spain. Try again. Messina. Try again. Italy. Nope. Somebody buzz in. Uh, Bryant. Greece. No. Mary Montgomery. France. No, Sicily. Mary Montgomery, in Much Ado About Nothing, give the name of the daughter of Leonato presented in Act One, Scene One. Hero. That's right, four points. <laughs> Bryant, in Act Four, Scene Four of King Lear, give the name of the character who is leading the army at Dover. Edmund. Try again. Albany. Try again. Cordelia. Yes. Pink. Two points. <laughs> Geography is our topic. Back to Davidson. In Saudi Arabia, a vast desert with reddish brown dunes and severe sandstorms creates a barrier to travel across the Arabian Peninsula. It lies immediately south of the Syrian desert. Give me the name of this large desert. Al Nafud. That's right. Four points. <laughs> Mary Montgomery. In 1908, oil was first discovered in Southwest Asia. With the onset of industrialization, petroleum became a resource in high demand. Give the name of the country in which this discovery occurred. Saudi Arabia. Try again. Persia. Persia is right. Or Iran. Three points. Jordan and Saudi Arabia are separated from the Sinai Peninsula by a gulf of water off the Red Sea. Give the name of this gulf. Persian Gulf. Try again. Gulf of Aden. Try again. Gulf of Oman. Try again. Gulf of Anka. Ankana. Can you spell it? No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> it's an honest answer. Okay, anybody want to try from David Center, Mary Montgomery? I wish I could give you points for honesty, but I can't. Yeah. No? Oh, Davidson. Gulf of Ankai. What was it? Ankai. Can you spell that? A-N-K-A-H. No, sorry. Okay, I'll get spelled. Okay, A-N-K-A, Anka. No, okay. Akuba. Akuba. A-Q-A-B-A. -A. Sorry. We are halfway through our competition. As you can see, it's a tight contest. Bryant has 14. Davidson and Mary Montgomery have 19. New Horizons Credit Union has been serving its members and the community since 1950. New Horizons Credit Union is a proud supporter of the arts, civic activities, local charities, and higher education, including sponsoring annual scholarship opportunities open to all high schools. Visit New Horizons online at newhcu.org to learn about upcoming supported events that help make this area a great place to live. New Horizons Credit Union, offering its members solutions for the real world. As Alabama's first and largest school system, Mobile County Public Schools prides itself on the high quality of education we provide our students. We have been successful over the years in raising our graduation rates. 
and have been recognized nationally for closing achievement gaps. We believe that our primary focus is to educate all students to become productive citizens. This is our commitment to them and to you. Good luck teams. Davidson, here's your question in chemistry. State the name given to the charge of one mole of electrons. Negative. Try again. And I like Try again. Nonpolar. Try again. Bryant? Faraday? Faraday is right. One point for Bryant. <laughs> Mary Montgomery, state the name of the purple dye extracted from certain sea snails by the ancient Phoenicians. Indigo. Try again. Amethyst. Try again. What's purple? Guess, guess, I like that. Oh, okay. Bryant. Royal purple. Yes, we could accept purple. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Bryant. State the name given to the cyclic hydrocarbon formed from three atoms of carbon and six atoms of hydrogen. Hectane. Try again. Hectine. Try again. Hectine. Oh. Davidson. Propane. No. Mary Montgomery. No the answer. answer. Cyclopropane. Cyclopropane is what I needed. Art history is the topic. To Davidson. The painting titled Nabby Landscape has vibrant colors such as orange, blue, and green. It depicts a woman with long hair riding a prehistoric creature and a star and moon shining over a mountain peak. Give the last name of the artist who created this work. Ceruzier. Try again. Rodin. Try again. Moreau. Try again. Mary Montgomery. Ronson. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Mary Montgomery. In the foreground of this painting by Paul Gauguin sits a bearded, elfin-like man with a long face and light-colored, slanted eyes wearing a purple jacket and a white shirt. The man in the painting is Paul Gauguin's fellow artist, a Dutch Buddhist painter named Jacob Isaac Meyer de Haan. Give the one word title of this painting by Van Gogh. Nirvana. Right, four points. <laughs> Bryant, this painter was known as the painter of the Salomés because he interpreted this subject many times, producing numerous paintings on this theme as seen in his painting titled, Salome Dancing Before Herod. Give the last name of this artist. Moreau. Moreau is right. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna change the rules a little bit and ask some questions in team choice. Before the match began, each team chose the subject it wanted to be quizzed on. So in team choice, there's four points for a correct answer, but the twist is there's only one answer per team. So teams, if you think the answer is incorrect, even before I say it's incorrect, you can buzz in and get two points for a correct answer instead of just one. So Davidson, you chose literature. Again, a reminder, one answer, please. In Kate Chopin's short story titled Elizabeth Stock's One Story, Give the last name of the man who read the official document to Elizabeth Stock that discharged her from her position at the village post office. Wallace. Right, four points. <laughs> Mary Montgomery, you chose Shakespeare. Again, just one answer, please. In act four, scene three of Much Ado About Nothing, this groom rejects the bride at the altar when he says, quote, take her back again Give not this rotten garbage to your friend. She's but a sign and semblance of her honor. 
Give the name of the rejecting groom. Claudio. Right, four points. <laughs> Brian, you chose American history. Again, just one answer. A setback for progressive reformers occurred when the Supreme Court invalidated a New York law that established a 10-hour workday for bakers. Give the name of this Supreme Court case. Lochner v. New York. That's correct. Four points. <laughs> okay, time for our second toss-up of the match. It's in geography, so teams, hands on your buzzers. First team to push its buzzer answers first. Because water is scarce in certain regions of Southwest Asia, sometimes runoff water from mountains is collected in a system of brick line. See, Bryant. Irrigation. I'll continue. Pumps are then used to bring the water to the surface. Give the term for this type of underground system. Davidson. Sewer system? No. Mary Montgomery. Yeah. Drip irrigation? No, it's called Kanat. Q A N A T. No points on the toss up. Physics is the topic now. To Davidson. State the name given to any device that transfers heat from a low temperature reservoir to a high temperature reservoir. Heat conductor. Try again. Water heater. Try again. Bryant. Coolant. No. Mary Montgomery. Calorometer. No, you probably have one in your house. Heat pump. A heat pump. Mary Montgomery. Name the wave property characterized by a system of waves spreading out as a result of passing through a narrow opening or across an edge. Divergence? Try again. Convergence? Try again. Uh. Davidson. Diffraction? Mm -hmm. Yes. One point. <laughs> Bryant. State the name given to an insulating material inserted between the plates of a capacitor which increases its capacitance. An inhibitor? Try again. Conductor? Nope. <laughs> Davidson? Semiconductor? No. Mary Montgomery? No answer. No. Dielectric. Dielectric is what we needed. American government is the topic to Davidson now. The Shrink Missouri Government Political Action Committee filed a lawsuit against the Missouri Attorney General, charging that contribution limits violated their First Amendment rights. Give the last name of this Missouri Attorney General. Nixon. That's right. Four points. <laughs> Mary Montgomery. The most famous of all straw polling mishaps took place in 1936 when the Literary Digest mailed postcard ballots to more than 10 million people and then confidently predicted the outcome of the presidential election. Give the last name of the candidate whom they predicted would easily defeat Franklin Roosevelt. Dewey. Try again. Davidson. Wilkie. No. Bryant. Hoover. No, it was Alf Landon. Alf Landon. Bryant, your question. Among the best known of the national pollsters today are the Gallup organization with the Gallup poll and another organization. Give the name of the other well-known pollster. General Polster. Try again. <laughs> Davidson. Harris survey. That's right.
World history is the topic. Davidson, here's your question. The death of Henry II in 1559 left France with Henry's four sons to rule, but the real power behind the throne was their mother. Give the full name of this influential woman. Catherine de' Medici. That's right, four points. <laughs> Mary Montgomery, here's your question. In 1640, a 20-year-old Prussian named Frederick William inherited the title Elector of Brandenburg. He and his descendants created the best standing army in Europe. Give the name of the family to which Frederick William belonged. Habsburg. Try again. Hohenzollern. That's right, three points. <laughs> Bryant, in 1555, German rulers appeared to have settled their religious differences. They agreed that the faith of each prince would determine the faith of his subjects, and that churches in Germany could be either Lutheran or Catholic. Give the name of the document in which these agreements were made. Peace of Augsburg. That's right, four points. Last question. Right here. Math question, 60 second question. Open your math envelopes now. A right angle has legs given by A plus three and A minus two for a real number A and has an area of one half times A squared plus three A minus 14 for the same real number A. What is the length of the longest leg of this right triangle? seconds teams. Bryant. 13. Sorry. Mary Montgomery. Four. No. Davidson. Three. Seven. Seven was the answer we needed. All right, third place goes to Bryant High School with 28 points. And $1,000, to mention that. Mary G. Montgomery, second place, $1,500. and the Alabama High Q champion winning $2,000, Davidson High School. Congratulations.